guys, it's Lexi, and today I kind of want to give you some tips and tricks on life that I kind of learned from and that I've seen other people learn from and that I've read online just to kind of help you guys out and make sure you're successful in everything that you're doing, whether you're in high school, middle school, whatever it may be, I want to help you. So, tip number one for going back to school. If you are an incoming freshman, um, I think that your priority should be to focus on school. Going into my freshman year, I was definitely not thinking ahead or thinking about my future or anything. And my grades were not the best. Like, they were not. But really, I should have been keeping up with them. I'm still not where I want to be. I'm still not where I probably should be, but I'm getting there. Priority should always be your grades when you're in school. School is very important, and let me tell you, if you want to go anywhere in life, and you have like, you should probably go to college, it's gonna help you so much in the long run. College is not meant for anyone by any means, but it is for many, and it can help you out in life and make you very successful. Also, if you're going into freshman year, I, <laughs> I look back on my freshman year and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, oh my gosh, I embarrassed myself, you know? Try to remain cool, laid back. Don't be that freshman that wants to be with all the seniors just to make themselves look cool. Don't, just like humble yourself, be cool, be calm, focus on your grades. Pick wisely who you hang out with. You may go into high school having a bunch of friends but once you leave high school, you're probably going to have like three or four. It's just how it happens. It's just life. But choose your friends wisely. Because the people you surround yourself with are the people that build you up. If you're hanging out with bad influences and bad people, you're only going to become the same thing. If you're hanging out with people who are positive, people who have goals in life, and you surround yourself with them, it's gonna make you motivated to be the same. And you guys are gonna grow together instead of, you know, falling down. So you always gotta surround yourself with the people who are gonna motivate you and make you grow and be a bigger person than you were the day before. Um, another tip is, while you're in high school, while you're still young, fresh, get a job. Whether it be a summer job, babysitting, dog sitting, whatever it may be, get a job. Do something to earn a little bit of cash just so you can start saving money for the future, um, saving money for a car, or simply saving money to buy yourself something nice. It's good to start learning to save at an earlier age than later in life because the, once you're in your like 20s, 30s, you don't want to be blowing money and not knowing how to save it or not knowing how to manage your money. You want to do that early ahead. So it's just the best tip and idea I could give to you is to get a job while you're still in high school. I was never able to get a job while I was in high school and a lot, I did a couple babysitting jobs but it wasn't like I was making much and anytime I would get money I would blow it and it's not really what you should do. No matter what age you are, like, okay, if you're like 10 and under, go ahead, what are you gonna do with your money? But I think you should always think about your money wisely and how you're gonna spend it and if it's gonna, if, if what you're buying is really going to benefit you. If you buy something and it really it has no use to you, then it was a worthless purchase. If it's some $200 shoes, buy them. If that's what you really saved your money for, go ahead, buy them. Because maybe those shoes are what's gonna impact you the most. And they're gonna be your shoes for the year, you know? I don't know. Don't go on a spending shopping spree. I mean, I guess you can, but unless you're rich, <laughs> try to save money. That is my advice. Save and manage money. I am telling you, this is like the most important thing. You don't want to be 17, 18 and not. You want to be able to have money even 
even if you have just a babysitting job, you want to be able to have that money to spend on yourself or to go out with friends and not have to constantly ask your parents for it. I know that I was in that position and I felt bad for it most of the time because I was like taking money from my parents. You don't feel like you can do much because you don't want to be constantly asking to do stuff because you don't have the money because you're taking it from your parents. Not only is the job good to have money for, it's good, it's a very good look on your resume for future references. Once you're actually starting to look for a, a real job, you're able to put that you've had a summer job, babysitting, dog sitting, or doing people's lawns, you have something to put on there. So that's always the best. As well as for a resume, you really want to think about this. A lot of the times I didn't really think about my resume or college, like how they're gonna, what's gonna happen my freshman, sophomore year. I wasn't thinking about it. But this is why I'm here. This is why I'm here, girl. I'm here to help you. Who should definitely start thinking about that. Build your resume. Join a club. Not only does a club help you, for your resume to gain some skills, gain some knowledge, but it helps you find people that have the same similar interests as you. If you join theater club, you're gonna make amazing friends that like the same thing as you, that are just as goofy and fun and outgoing as you. And you're gonna have those same, that you're gonna be that group. If you like singing, join choir. If you like band, do some music. You're gonna find the best of people anywhere you go, art club, if you're in football, do some sports. Sports are so good for you. It's gonna, it's just something to keep your mind off of, I don't know. Getting involved in school is very important. Don't think that it's lame or that it was boring because like it's something that you're not going to really be able to do when you're older and when you graduate. So I think that you should just like do it and experience it and see how you like it, you know? Maybe not all people like it, maybe it's not for you, but a lot of people get involved in school and they end up thinking it's the best decision they ever made. And do that, join as much as possible. Another tip would be, don't get so caught up in drama. Because if you get involved with drama, it's, it's so irrelevant. And when you grow up, you're gonna be like, you get out of high school, you're gonna be like, that was so dumb, like it was so childish. Like, you don't need drama, don't get involved in drama. I'm the type to listen to everyone's drama around me, and I'd just be sitting there like, mm-hmm, oh yeah? You know, Becky did this, Becky did that. I know it, but I'm not gonna spread it around. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I'm just kidding. But I'm not involved, so <laughs> Becky might have done that kind of funny but I wasn't in the drama because I'm chill I'm mellow I'm laid back <laughs> aside from drama kind of close to it but don't get so caught up in relationships in high school a lot of people tend to want to be in a relationship or want to have the best looking guy on the football team Go ahead, girl, dream all you want, because I know that was me. But <laughs> you don't have to be so caught up in having a relationship. You don't have to have a relationship. It's, you're, you're young, you know, school is the most important thing. Honestly, there's so many boys in life, and if you're young and still in high school, what does it matter? You're probably gonna find someone and you're like, when you're older and you're out of high school, you're gonna find someone maybe in college, maybe at work, maybe event or somewhere in public you're gonna find someone one day and you don't have to stress about it so much when you're young a lot of people get caught up in like this fantasy and you have to spend the rest of your life with some like let's say you are in a relationship they get so caught up they're like oh well, i wanna we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together but you don't have to like you should really just I don't want to give you guys the wrong advice. Like, 
go ahead go on a date experience it kiss kiss a boy I don't know go get dressed up and go with your girls or get set up on a date whatever do you but don't get so caught up in the idea of being in a relationship because you don't have to be in a relationship it's you should be more focused on you and building yourself mm, obviously if you do find a guy that you really like I say go for it you know be with that guy be with the, your crush you know have a little crush do what you want girl just if it doesn't work or you don't have a guy or the guy you like maybe doesn't like you back or you ended a relationship don't stress about it it's not the end of the world there's so many more guys out there and most of you are only in high school so we shouldn't really stress about it because there's so much more especially at a young age you should be focused on school girl you should be focused on work school getting your education being independent being strong blah 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 okay whatever next tip i want to give you guys is take risks that is a big one take risks i know for high school um i wasn't as big of a risk taker but i'm saying because i had opportunities that i was given like i could have been in honors i could have been in ap but i didn't because i was too afraid of failing and i was too afraid that i would go into that class and have so much work and so much stress that I wouldn't be able to do it, I just didn't feel like I would be able to do it. And I didn't take that risk, which those risks could have set me up for a lot of things, especially college, or just to get gain experience and have that title that like I was able to do that and I succeeded that, but I didn't take that risk. Um, that goes for a lot of things, just in general, to take a risk. like. Go out with that sweet boy who you don't think is really cute because you never know, you might end up falling for him. Or try out for that sport that you probably think you don't, you're not good at. Or audition for that play. Take risks because you're only in high school once and if it's embarrassing, time is eventually going to pass and you know, you're not going to have to worry about it biggest tip that I could give you is think ahead always think ahead always think of what could happen and what result in the choices you make or the steps that you take that rhymed oh my gosh but <laughs> because thinking ahead could really make a difference I feel like I'm going on like this longest rant ever but you know, I'm giving you advice so you can do it right, not like me. I want you guys to be better. I want you guys to succeed. Always do your homework. Turn in every single assignment. Whether you copied someone or not, I don't care. Turn in that assignment because every little point counts, I swear. Every single point. Um, if you turn in all your assignments and you bomb the test, you're still guaranteed a pass. So <laughs> that is really important. So, girl, you better get them assignments done. Do not miss one assignment. Even if you get late credit, it's better than a zero. Honestly. Another tip I could probably give you is connect with your teachers and the adults that you do have at school because they can give you tons of advice and they can help you. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to get advice. Um, don't be afraid to connect with the teacher and be like the teacher's pet. Don't okay. Don't go overboard because Sometimes it's annoying like the kid who always wants to Buy the teacher some coffee Get on their good side pass out the papers pass out the pencils Take the attendance They're like oh me. Let me take the attendance like when they didn't even ask anyone yet Like don't be that person Calm down chill sit down she'll pick someone or he'll pick someone don't be that person either that's too much 